Hey guys, I um I mentioned uh, I think in the last video I made one of the last videos I made that um it's gonna be uh not putting videos up for a little while because we were having our second child, and um we did, so uh I was saying that um well basically like if anyone who's a parent knows that uh, you know like the the ten ten weeks after you have a kid it's like ten weeks of hell, and then everything goes back to normal. So I'm kind of in the middle of that right now. Um, it's just hard to find time to do projects like this, but uh, I've got a, I've got a brief moment of freedom right now, so I thought I'd just um, so just quickly put a video together and tell you what I've been tinkering with um, the past couple of days. So uh, I've always wanted to do. Um, here, I'll just show you. So this is. <clears throat> um, I I wanted to put together a uh, a, a, a Raspberry Pi. Um, it's a little web server that hosts a um, a KPI dashboard for my business. Like I've I've said before that I have a an online um, I have an online business. I have to keep track of website analytics, um, sales, and so on, subscribers, uh, social media. So I wanted to I specifically wanted to use NetBSD because I've I've not used NetBSD before. I'm very familiar now with OpenBSD and FreeBSD. Um, I wanted to use it on the Raspberry Pi in particular because uh, NetBSD is um, is well known for its compatibility. That, that it you know it's um, it's known to run on anything or just about anything. So I thought I'd uh, I'd use it for this. And the thing is too, like um, <clears throat> I guess my concern with NetBSD in the past has always been uh, that I didn't want something that had um, you know, uh, not as large a community and not uh, as frequent updates for its packages um, just because it's a smaller community and um, but with the Raspberry Pi I don't really care that much because it's not one of those things that you would update frequently anyway you know you just kind of um, or at least for me anyway so yeah so I, I've I'll just show you what I what I mean by the KPI dashboard I'm, I'm I've been looking into this um, this open source dashboard here based on Ruby, it's called um, Smashing, it's based on a, a thing called Dashing, that's not, not around anymore. But basically you can create widgets. Um, so that's it there. And the idea is to basically have, <clears throat> so you've got this little test screen, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically mount a large monitor um, on the wall and have my, uh, like my business stats showing um, in real time. Um, so that's kind of what I've been working on. That's um, and, and what I've used for this is, if you go to the NetBSD site on uh, on Raspberry Pi, there is a there's a thing here. Um, this guy here, Ebi John, he's a some kind of Japanese um, contributor. Um, he created his own sort of fork of uh, of NetBSD. This is it here, and it's um, I don't know exactly what he's done I think he he sort of added some extra firmware in there or something that, to make it work um, but he's also added a bunch of other stuff that I really wish wasn't on there um, and a lot of the encoding like the keyboard encoding and stuff is in Japanese so I've had to basically um, I've had to basically get rid of a lot of stuff that he he put in there but what I'm thinking to do is to just take out if possible to take out the um, the firmware um, additions that he's put in, um, whatever else he's put in, and um, into a vanilla install of NetBSD because I, I hate building on top of other people's work. You know, it's um, yeah. So, so that's it. That's what I've been working on. This thing is awesome. It's like, um, um, you know, I've, I've always wanted to get into the the Raspberry Pi um, fad, um, and yeah, I finally got to tinker around with it. Um, but no Raspbian. It's just uh, it's just BSD in this in this household. So yeah, um, I'll I'll aim to try and put some more videos up soon, guys. As soon as our life gets back to normal. 